welcome back to my channel as you see by the title and the thumbnail today i'm going to be giving you guys advice on how you could be alone or learn how to be alone because nowadays being alone is better than dealing with people's bs and drama and unnecessary things because honestly it just feels so amazing for your energy to not be disrupted by people who are just irrelevant af so yeah i have a list in my phone have all of them right there so the first one is start by isolating yourself when you start isolating yourself you start to like it'll feel lonely don't get me wrong you feel the loneliness inside of you and you feel like so alone like damn i need to i want to text my friends or i need to text this person or i need to call somebody and so on when in reality just just like relax you're gonna be fine because the more you isolate yourself the more you will master it like you'll ghost everyone like in a heartbeat whenever you feel like you need your space or you just need to find yourself and get to know yourself deep, deep in a deeper level so um yeah isolating actually works for me honestly and it works a lot because now i just like don't care in a way for like oh i have to respond to this person real quick or or i have to call this person back or whatever no no, no. if you need your time you need your time and they have to understand that like oh, and she, she or he needs to isolate themselves to recuperate, to recharge and stuff like that. So basically, phone on do not disturb. My phone is always on do not disturb and I get in trouble for it. But I don't care because I need my space. Sometimes I don't like to be on my phone a lot. Or if I'm on my phone, I'm just watching TikToks or playing this water sort game. Or I'm editing videos or planning. That's all I'm doing. The other one is... Oh, you oh if you i think if you have an iphone you're able to put your messages on do not disturb i have everyone on do not disturb except two people which is my friend and then my mom those are the two people who i don't have on do not disturb everyone else is on do not disturb because i just i don't need all those things all those messages coming through my phone honestly because it's it's very annoying and it very gets me very anxious only answer to a few people only have those few people who you talk to constantly who are gonna need you and stuff like that don't answer you don't have to answer everybody but if you want to go ahead but honestly this is a time to learn how to be on your own be alone because if you don't do that then how are you supposed to get through life honestly because there's certain points in life where you're gonna be alone you're gonna do things alone and you have to be okay with being alone and not always with somebody because not everyone is gonna be there for you. Sorry, that was aggressive. <laughs> but it, it's the truth. It's the truth. You learn. You learn. You learn and you grow. Or you get the point. You get the point. The next one is be cautious of your energy. Savor your energy. Not your energy doesn't have to be wasted on irrelevant, irrelevant people. Or unnecessary people who like to drain you to a point of where exhaustion exhaustion and you don't want to do you just don't want to do anything you have motivation to do nothing just stay in bed and freaking watch anime or netflix shows or youtube videos or whatever you have to savor your energy your energy is very precious your time is very precious so your time doesn't have to go to everybody just certain people that you feel like they're gonna help you throughout life they're gonna be there for you which is kind of hard but savor your energy because you're gonna waste your energy on people that don't even deserve it so the second one is find something to do on your alone time find something that you love to do that you're passionate about doing i have some little things first one is a gym gym is a great place to be alone you could have a buddy, but honestly, I suggest going alone because then it's just like you're focused on your own world. You have your earphones on, listening to music in your own world and your own mind on your own timing. And that's where you just start to like function more or reading books, find books that you like to read and then be alone. Read the books to keep you occupied. Paint, you could paint the way you feel. The things you like the stuff you see stuff like that and then draw you could draw and then you could paint it just draw some things that you feel like like make yourself 
feel okay to be alone and draw things that will motivate you journaling journaling i started journaling on may 2nd so the beginning of this month of may and um honestly it's been working i'm not really really a person to like jot down my feelings or anything because it's very hard for me to freaking put on paper step by step of how i feel everything's just jambalaya but that's okay also that's okay because that's just the way it is throughout time you're gonna get used to it so every one person you put in you're still doing something you're making progress with every one person you put in next thing is take yourself out on it i know that some people have anxiety and they get anxious to be alone but from experience, um, I I usually take myself out to like freaking go get Starbucks or go get food or to the store when I need something or concerts, traveling alone. That all helped me grow in life in a way that I never thought I was able to. The first time I flew out, I was nervous. I was anxious. I was like, shit, I'm gonna miss my flight. I'm gonna miss my flight. I'm gonna miss my flight or I, I'm I'm missing something or I left something or stuff like that it was like constant like reminder like oh crap like my brain was like gonna blow but honestly um it's gonna be alone literally because you learn things on your own and you won't need anybody else because you do things on your own and you don't have to have a person always there for you and or when something let's say you're in a relationship or you have like a good friendship any type of relationship that's out there um when that person leaves you you you'll feel heartbreak i understand that part but you won't feel as like like damn like i don't i always had this person with me i can't do anything without them no you'll be able to do things on your own and that's what it's teaching you to do things on your own so when somebody leaves your life you're not gonna be like oh my gosh i i can't do this without them you just be you just be chill you, you could do things with, without people you don't need people in your life to do things take yourself out to coffee shops coffee shops are the best place because it's calm and if you go to college or school whatever you study there or you have work you go work there too restaurants restaurants a lot of people manage start off with coffee shops and then once you think you're ready you could take yourself on a date on a re in a restaurant alone and eat alone Eating alone can be kind of like anxiety, you're asking for it. But honestly, the more you learn to eat alone, the more better you just be instantly like, oh, I'm going to take myself here and I'm going to eat alone. In the park, take yourself to the park. Even if it's alone, walk around the freaking whole park. Sit on the swing, sit on the bench, lay on the floor, the grass, reminisce concerts concerts there's a lot of people like hella a lot of people depending on who you're going to see but either way it's still a lot of people and so you have to find your seat and then you have to stay in line alone for like i don't know until they let you in so um yeah just little things take yourself out on little things so you can learn how to be alone traveling to destinations like i said the more you travel alone the more you think 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 uh, the more you do things alone the more you're gonna feel free and the more you're gonna be like damn like why didn't i think about this or why didn't i do this before like it's simple not simple it takes time to learn but um if you've been alone for a long time then you, it's easier for you to to sustain to that environment but if you're never alone you're not you're not learning anything because when you're not alone and you're always with somebody you're on their terms so you're both like this and you're not on your terms you're not learning things about you you don't you're not doing things for you you're doing things for them you don't want that you learn about yourself get to know yourself on a deeper level deep deeper level like get to know yourself be in tune with your emotions with your body parts with everything all of you be in tune with it your intuition your chakra levels all of that and trust me it, it's it's amazing it's an amazing journey and a reminder i have a reminder peace over drama or chaos choose peace over drama or chaos know your worth you know your freaking worth you are worth it always tell yourself but actually like mean it when you say it because if you don't 
mean it when you say it, then it's like, it's not gonna do anything. You don't need anyone. You don't need anyone in your life. I know everyone's like, oh, I need this person, but this person makes me feel this way and this. We all been there, okay? But honestly, the only person who's gonna be there for you is yourself. The only person who's gonna pick up the pieces of your heart is yourself. The only person who's gonna take you from point A to point Z is yourself. Remember that, you, yourself, you. Yeah, so remember that, it's just, you're the one who's gonna bring you out of the darkness. Because if you've been in the shoes of where you're in this darkness and then you want you want that one person to take you out into the light but that person doesn't do it you're the one that's taking yourself to the light no one else so that's where your head clicks and it's like oh freak i'm the one that's taking myself out i'm the one that's doing this for myself and you have that mindset where it's like you know what i don't need anybody i got myself At the end of the day i got myself that's all you should be worried about but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and tap the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video.